Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Hamm, and this is another Monday Morning Moment, and it's back to school time, and that means germs. And our topic today is asthma and the chiropractic approach. You know, asthma is one of the fastest growing chronic conditions in the United States, with over 15 million Americans affected each year. Over 4 million of them are children. The death rate from asthma has increased more than 66% since 1980, with over 6,000 deaths each year. You know, asthma spends $6.2 billion each year in asthma treatment, over $1 billion just in medications. And asthma in adults lose over $850 million in lost wages from work, and parents with asthmatic children lose over $1 billion by staying at home from work for caring for their kids. And asthma is the number one cause of hospitalization for children in the United States. And a study that was done by Dutch and American researchers found that 75% of children with moderate to severe asthma still have the condition by the time they reach their mid-20s. And after a decade of decline, both the number of cases and deaths due to asthma are surging. Cases nearly doubled from 1994 to 2009 with the biggest increase among age range of 18 to 44, according to the American Lung Association. In 2009, over 6,000 people succumbed to fatal attacks, twice the number who died in 1979. And death rate has risen fastest for African Americans. Let's talk about this for a moment. An asthma attack is caused by an inflammatory response, which causes the constriction of the bronchial tubes. And several studies have shown that the incidence of asthma and allergies tends to rise in countries where childhood immunization rates are high. And this has prompted some research to suggest that certain infections may trigger immune changes that protect children from developing asthma and allergies later. Preliminary studies have shown a protective effect of measles and infections with intestinal parasites, for example. Why does this happen? Well, see my Monday Morning Moment video on immunity. I cover this extensively. For this, just know that Science News reports that an asthma attack can be triggered by different types of irritants including dust, pollen, ragweed, aspirin, cockroaches, perfume, stress, dust mites, pet hair, food additives, and occupational vapors. And although these things may trigger an attack, they are not the primary cause of the attack. Research has shown that there are several factors that contribute to asthma, including the recent in increased use of antibiotics and vaccines. While the rise in of vaccine and antibiotics People in developed countries have experienced fewer serious childhood infections than ever before. And scientists suspect that an immune system with no serious work to do is likely to become a renegade army, attacking whatever irritant it encounters. The conventional treatment for asthma includes the use of bronchodilators, steroids, and allergy desensitization shots to ease the symptoms of asthma. And although no one would disagree that the appropriate use of medicine in controlling asthma but there's mounting research to suggest that serious problems often result with their usage. Dr. Michael Callender, medical doctor, head of the allergic disease section at the National Institutes of Health, said that a focus on bronchodilators as the only therapy is inappropriate. It is symptomatic therapy has nothing to do with the healing process. The people with asthma breathe a sigh of relief with the advent of inhaled steroids in the early 1990s. The thousands of people take high dosages daily in regimes that may last a lifetime. And new research indicates that inhaled steroids may have an unsuspecting dark side. A study of over 50,000 elderly people in Canada found that prolonged use of inhaled steroids markedly increases a person's risk of glaucoma, which leads to blindness. And Dr. Fisherine said on reversing asthma, our approach to asthma has been woefully inadequate and misguided and our medications have worsened the condition over the long term, and few of our doctors have developed the kind of comprehensive programs that emphasize healing and prevention. And two recent studies in Canada and New Zealand suggest that asthma patients who rely on inhaled beta agonist dilators run twice the risk of dying. By opening airways that are normally constricted in an asthma attack, bronchodilators might actually expose the lungs to more of the substances that damage them hurling the asthmatic individual down a dangerous spiral. The focus of medical science is beginning to shift away from just attempts to contain the symptoms of asthma to exploring the controlling mechanism as a means of solving and preventing asthma and related conditions. From a chiropractic perspective, we remember that we don't treat anything except vertebral subluxations, but many people with asthma feel better 
with chiropractic care. And the reason they get better deals with the properly functioning nervous system. And that should be the first priority in solving asthma since it is a nervous system which controls all of our bodily functions. The nervous system works by sending and receiving messages or impulses to all parts of the body. Breathing is controlled by the centers in the brain. The, the brain, one, one of them, the respiratory center, which is found in the medulla oblongata. And from here, the nerve impulses are sent to the respiratory muscles, causing them to expand or contract. And nerve impulses also control the tone of the bronchial tubes. So the sympathetic nervous system opens or dilates the bronchial tubes, and the parasympathetic nervous system closes or constricts them. So the nervous system plays an important role in both the control and activity of the immune system. The sheer power of the brain to affect the body as a whole and the general state of health is amazing. The nervous system is protected by the spine consisting of 24 movable vertebrae. When the spine is in its proper position, it protects the nerve pathways. But when the vertebrae becomes misaligned, interference to the nerve impulses occurs, which reduces the overall function of the nervous system and of the particular organ to which it is assigned. These spinal misalignments are known as vertebral subluxations. Vertebral subluxations are devastating to a person's health and are well documented by leading health authorities. Subluxation is very real. We have documented it to the extent that no one can dispute its existence. Vertebral subluxations change the entire health of the body by causing structural dysfunction of the spine and nerve interference. Chang Su, PhD, University of Colorado, found that just the weight of a dime on a spinal nerve will reduce, reduce the nerve transmission by as much as 60%. Now think about that for a moment. How much does a dime weigh? Dr. James Watersey, a neurosurgeon, says that subluxations of vertebrae occur in all parts of the spine. See, nerve dysfunction is stressful to the visceral nerve and other body structures, and the lower tissue resistance modifies the immune response and lessens the overall capability of the immune system. And Dr. Lee at the Academy of Pain Research says that hyperfunction or hypofunctional neurons along a neural chain prevent normal nerve transmission, causing disturbances in the homeostasis of the cells, tissues, and organs that balance function. And Dr. Delamater, an MD, says that pathological changes have been observed at the cellular level after experimental compression of neural structures. See, the science of chiropractic is founded in the premise that a proper nerve supply is essential in controlling and regulating bodily function. Doctors of chiropractic detect and correct vertebral subluxations by physically adjusting the spine. And this adjustment restores the nervous system to an optimum level of function which maximize the body's inherent healing ability. Chiropractors have never claimed that they can cure asthma and other related conditions, and that all cases of asthma are caused by spinal stress. But scientific research has demonstrated that correcting subluxation does restore and improve respiratory and immune function, which improves conditions like asthma. One possible alternative to drug therapy for asthma is chiropractic care. There is mounting preliminary clinical evidence that it may offer relief to asthma sufferers. It may be possible to rectify, at least to some extent, the hyper-responsiveness of the lungs through chiropractic. A study published in the Holland Medical Journal reported that out of a group of 115 families with asthmatic children, 73% used chiropractic care, and 92% of the families reported that chiropractic was beneficial for their kids. The Brisbane Asthma Study reported that chiropractic was the most consultantly, frequently consulted form of alternative health care, and that 29.6% of families with asthmatic children use chiropractic for asthma treatment. And when compared with other forms of alternative health care, chiropractic received the highest satisfaction rate, 86.5%. The Medical Journal in Australia said that 76.5% of patients with bronchial asthma said they benefited from chiropractic. Peak flow rate and vital capacity increased after just a third adjustment. The European Chiropractic Union states that the correction of vertebral subluxation with chiropractic adjustments can improve conditions such as asthma because of the restored nerve supply to the pathways of both the respiratory and immune systems. Improvement of immune function is an often overlooked but well-documented benefit of chiropractic care. 
a study published in the Chiropractic Research Journal compared the health and wellness of 200 children under the chiropractic care to 200 children under conventional medical care. And the chiropractic group had fewer ear infections, fewer allergies, fewer cases of tonsillitis and asthma. And the health of the children of the chiropractic group was demonstrably superior to the children who had not received chiropractic. If you know someone suffering with asthma, share this video with them. I'm Dr. Matt Hammett, reminding you as always, it's a great idea to have your kiddos checked by a family-based chiropractor. I hope you enjoy this video and others like it so you can be more engaged in your spinal hygiene for your family and friends. As always, we invite you to become patients in our practice, and if you already are, kudos to you and your family. Help us spread our message by becoming fans on our Facebook page and sharing this video with your loved ones. May God bless.